Well, I don't know how to start this one. This one's going to be tough. Going on a road trip! No. <laughs> and on that note, we'll start there. Wake up, today's going to be a good day. Wake up, today's going to be a good day. Wake up, today's going to be a good day. So this video is going to be a little bit different than our normal videos, um, probably a little somber. Um, today is the day, and this is we mostly wanted to do this for our children, um, even though they've been here over the past couple of days removing their stuff. Um, you know, it's just something about uh, preserving this for the history books. So for the past 17 years, Carrie and I have lived here, and this single family three bedroom one bath ranch <laughs> here in hinsdale new hampshire um, we came up here on what we thought was going to be a very temporary stop and then we decided that this was going to be our forever home and then we decided yeah that ain't working for us anymore so as you can see behind us we're packed up and ready to roll as far as children uh, we've had some really fun times in this house. We've had some crazy times in yeah. this house. Um, and that's basically what this video is going to be for, is just showing the kids one last romp through with everything completely out of the house as today is closing day. So we're going to go in here and uh, have you guys join us. So with everything out of the house, one, is extremely echo e and two um, it looks nothing like our home so it's kind of well, interesting kind um, of cool looking though it was everything that we had done over the years that really made this our home and now when you walk in it's just a warm hot house it's, <laughs> it's just all the windows closed so this is the kitchen kids uh if you remember this i think your mom has taken numerous pictures of you over here when the cabinets were white way back oh, in the day oh, the gold speckled the counter gold box. speckle and the brick <laughs> backsplash yeah. i think you guys have all had a homecoming picture taken there or something which was a precursor to the picture that you're going to have right outside that window under that tree because you know that was the tree any time there was a picture that needed to be taken first day of school whatever was under that tree so and then this here is our living room, which is right off the kitchen. Again, this is a very small home. Uh, we've watched numerous movies here, as Carrie will tell you. The air conditioner that right up here in the wall, this 1950s, 60s General Electric that they told us when we bought the house would be dead within a year is still going strong. Yeah. Uh, pellet stove, we added the old barn wood shells uh, that we had purchased. Uh, we had actually picked up the wood and the, this wood has been in some incarnation all over the house at some point and settled here in shelves. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna bring us down the hallway where we know you all raced each other, where you dragged each or other down each the other. halls. We've heard the stories. Swarmed each other. This was the smallest of the bedrooms, which ended up being my office. And as each one of you kids know, this was the punishment room. If you were bad, well, you did something wrong, this is the bedroom you got. You've all been here. So, yeah. Amelia's been here when she started with it. This was her original bedroom when we first bought because the house. It was pink. And then Samantha got it because she was kissing boys at four in the morning out in the driveway. And then RJ got it because he moved out and came back. And uh, yeah. And then we have the second bedroom, which I think is one of the only rooms that Samantha didn't have. No. But I know Amelia and Maybe RJ not. got this. Hello, handsome man, not included. But this was the, uh, this is where the room that you got when you behaved. Yeah. And uh, it's been many colors over the years, but this is the latest, which was Amelia's creation. And then this here was mom and dad's room. And it was briefly RJ's room for a while. Until he put his head through the until wall. Until RJ fell right there and put his head through the wall which has started as to why all the cedars on the wall once i patched that i didn't want to paint so we did all this this is our franken lamp that we're going to leave to the new owners which is probably about six different lamps that was into one Same three 
And maybe year three, okay. I think maybe four with the cord came from another one. That's true. So it's, it's, it was, it's different, but uh, <laughs> yeah. So these were the closet doors that uh, Amelia helped me build and this became, we got a, uh, an award for these doors from the reused people out of Massachusetts. The hardware and stuff like that. So it was part of that in the front end of the garage, as a matter of fact. The bathroom, which right in that shower, Junior, you and I had the first hardcore match. Ended up in the shower yeah. when we first bought that. So that glass. bathroom before the glass doors went up, that was the focal point of all pictures Pretty in this much. house with the girls. Yeah, every time <laughs> the girls wanted to take a selfie, they did it in the bathroom. And we always from, added new And you always knew when, because at the time, it was a shower curtain <laughs> that would tell you what season it was. And the funny part is, so that match, I, and I remember this, is something because all the kids were involved. Yeah. We first bought the house and we had chaos going on. It was just one thing after another. And it so happened that we ended up with a wrestling match. All the kids were involved. It went outside, outside around, around the neighborhood. We had a title belt for it. It ended that up in fun. the bathtub. And there was a steel <laughs> chair involved. RJ, I'll get that title belt back one day. But this year, we're gonna go downstairs. This is, uh, I'm quite sure this will be removed by the new owners, but this is uh, a wall that has each one of the kids' names carved in the wood at some point. Um, and then there's we're us. We're up in the corner. We're up in the corner. There's our old dog, Chester. Uh, so there's something for everybody there. So this was one of the rooms of the house that when we bought the house really had no it was just a hodgepodge of crap and we've kind of figured it out over the years built some doors and this here was the laundry room which as anybody knows is the heart of the house now it's somebody else's laundry room <laughs> so um, you know just basically uh yes yeah, carrie says goodbye to her one last time that's okay but i did one last load yesterday <laughs> it's funny how you know things like a laundry room you know and again Oh, we'll turn this light on. And this was a family room, which ironically was set up really nice. Home theater, big couch. We've always had some kind of big couch going on down here. Yeah. And uh, ironically, we all chose to sit upstairs for the most part. But this was... Uh, stairs. Stairs were probably the big stairs. issue. Ironically, after the kids moved out, Carrie and I used this every night. Yeah. And uh, it was actually pretty good, pretty comfortable. Uh, through here was our home gym um, and slash movie collection at one point. I and uh, yeah, so this is pretty much that. And this, this is, a, this. Ooh. So this room and this room are kind of a combo deal. So when we first bought the house, this room here, it, it was set up to be a bedroom, but it's, it's really not because there's not egress windows here. They're just standard basement windows. Nonetheless, uh, I think Samantha had this room for a while. Yeah. And then she br kind of had a dual room set up. And then at one time behind this wall is the original paneling to the house where somebody had done a remodel. And it's whoever finds this house in the future, behind this nice cedar is the fun house paneling because it's each panel was pa oh, painted a different, different color. color, pink so, and purple. I yeah. remember that. And this carpet, which is what really started the whole look of the house, we had a pipe burst one year, and this was wall to wall, like really like tan beige carpet, and it was horrible. And we went looking for alternatives that we could do ourselves, and we found this at Home Depot, which is commercial grade carpet, two, 24 by 24 inches in squares, peel and stick carpet squares. And it was economical to do the downstairs, and we got so much comments on it mm -hmm. that we ended up bringing it upstairs and put it in the bedrooms there too, because mm -hmm. we know kids destroy everything. So, and you spill a lot, and I, I can be a messy Marvin too. So yeah, there's that. Um, everything there, you know, this is pretty much it. Um, you know, electrical panels be, uh, aside, yeah, that was uh, well, it might not look much on camera. This was our home for 17 years. And uh, we had a lot of fun times, a lot of good stuff. Now, as the kids are on your own, you're making your own memories in your own places. 
mom and I are going to move on to that next step, which is uh, moving down south. south. One, so one, 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 one. we'll, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you are new to our channel and you made it this far in the video, one, sorry, uh, this was not really the normal kind of videos that we do. This was just something we wanted for nostalgia for our children. Um, but this is the marking of our full-time RV life, which we will start at uh, probably around 1 o'clock p.m. to this afternoon. You think it'll take that long? It has, it, they said the closing will take an hour or two, so we'll see. Hopefully it's on the shorter side, not much to do. Um, but yeah, as far as that goes, uh, we'll catch you next week mm -hmm. with an update from there and uh, how that experience went and uh, the new RV and what our plans are and possibly Ocean Lakes. Yes. And Myrtle Beach. So, yeah. So, stay tuned for that. I hear they got a stellar laundry room. Oh, boy. <laughs> and kids, we want to say thank you for the great times we've had in this house. And we'll catch you probably in about a year. No. We'll see. Well, we'll see on FaceTime yeah. and YouTube channel. All right. Yeah, okay. Bye. When you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran to the no man. I still